So one of the questions I get asked quite frequently when I'm doing tax return uh, courses is about the software. So what kind of software should I buy, Ian? Or, hey, Ian, I love those demonstrations you're doing on screen there. What software are you using? So I thought I'd take a couple of tutorials here and go over the software issue with you, nail it down, and then by the end of these couple of tutorials, you'll be able to determine what kind of software you need and how much exactly you're going to spend on it. I'll also give you my recommendation for what you should do. So I think these are very important tutorials here coming up. Software for tax return preparation is broken down really into two categories. You have the standard category and the professional. So standard would be those programs that are available to the general public for everyone to buy that you know, you can go to your local Staples, Business Depot, or your local Best Buy, or whatever the case is, and buy the tax software package right in the box. Go home, install it, you're up and running. And then you have the professional software, which is used by prof professional tax preparers and accountants pretty much across the nation. So let's look at standard tax software here for a second. These are usually the packages for individuals or families. So you go out you buy the software if you're just preparing the return for yourself, you know, your wife or husband or your family, then these packages are pretty much all you need. They give you all the stuff that you need to file your personal tax returns. Now, the problem with these standard packages is that typically you're limited to the number of tax returns you can actually file. So when you go out and buy the software, they'll say, okay, you can do 10 returns with this package. If you want to do additional returns, then you have to pay an additional fee. So again, you know, this is not really software that's made for professionals because by the time you add up all the costs of doing additional tax returns, you're usually better off buying the professional packages anyway. Another thing I've found with these tax return packages is very confusing because even though you might be doing less than the number of returns specified, so let's just assume you're doing the tax returns for you and your wife, for example, or you and your husband, some of the packages are confusing because they won't give you all the modules you need. They're, you know, you might have a rental income, but you buy the basic package that doesn't come with the rental income statement, for example, or you, know, you have business income and you have to fork out some additional cash for the tax software with business income. So not a big fan of the standard packages, obviously, because of this, they are a little bit confusing. In the next tutorial, I'll show you what I mean so that you can nail down your decision quite firmly after these tutorials. I don't recommend the standard tax packages for anybody who's going to be preparing tax returns for, for money, for cost. And it's quite simple because you will have a limit as to the number of returns you can prepare and you won't be able to do uh, tax returns for everybody because some of these software packages, as I said, do have modules that you have to pay the extra to get that extra functionality. So if you're thinking of preparing tax returns for a fee, which I'm assuming most of you are here, I would definitely recommend going the professional tax software route. So let's look at the professional tax software here. When you buy the package, all situations are handled. Everything from the most basic tax return with one T4 all the way to the most complicated tax returns you can do. So when you buy, we'll go through some of the tax software packages, but when you buy it, you can prepare your neighbor's tax return that just has a T4, or you can prepare the tax return for the Prime Minister of Canada, or the most complicated business tax returns in the country. They're all covered by professional software packages. An unlimited number of returns can be filed. And this obviously makes sense because if you are a professional tax preparer, if you're working in an accounting firm, it would be brutal if we reach the limit as to the number of tax returns you can prepare. So unlimited tax returns. Now, as you might imagine, it is much more expensive than the standard packages you can buy at your local Staples Business Depot. So typically what happens is you have to get an annual license. So every year you will have to renew your license and the company that provides the tax software will allow you to download all the current forms and the full functionality of the software and most importantly you'll also have access to all the past uh, a library of tax past tax returns as well because you probably will come across people who haven't filed for a while and you do want to be able to for example prepare their 2012 tax return if you're sitting there preparing their 2016 tax return as an example so 
great to have that license and have access to all those past modules as well. A great thing with professional software is be it comes with a lot of optimizers. So a lot of extra time and effort went into preparing the tax software. It does have optimizers for, you know, making sure you claim the proper medical expenses and doing the, you know, pension income splitting as an example. And a lot of times you might find yourself in a situation where you have to call for support. And the great thing with these tax software companies is, is that they're not only great at the support for the tax software itself. So the, you know, the technical side of the tax software, but some of these guys are great. Some of these people at the, at these companies are great with tax in general, because as you'll see, typically when there's an issue that something doesn't make sense in your tax software, it's normally due to the fact that there's some tax aspect that you're not taking into account. And a lot of these people that work for these companies are great tax preparers themselves. They're probably accountants or have worked in accounting firms. And they can give you some great guidance sometimes if you're preparing a tax return and you get stuck. So let's look at some of the tax software packages. For standard, you have companies like TurboTax and UFile and CanTax, which are some of the bigger ones, I believe, in Canada. And then you have H&R Block. They have their own tax software as well, or you can file it online. These are the ones you find that you can pretty much buy at any of your local um, you know, computer electronics store or business supply store. Now, the big ones for professional software, the two biggest right now are Tax Prep and Profile. So chances are if you're working at H&R Block, Softron, or any of the accounting firms or other pro professional tax preparers, chances are 60-70% of them will be using either Tax Prep or Profile. Now there is other software, Visual Tax is another big one that people use. And Tax Cycle is a newer, newer software program that has come into the market over the last uh, couple of years, I believe. And it's becoming very popular. So I think you'll see Tax Cycle come into the mix here and maybe become one of the big three. But for the most part, you will typically find that Tax Prep and Profile are the ones that are used most often. I myself have used Profile for at least 15 years, but I have also used Tax Prep before I switched over. The great thing is that they're all pretty equivalent. Some will have some advantages over the others. We'll look at a few of those situations and then you can decide which one of these professional programs is better suited for you. All right, that pretty much covers the basics of tax software. In the next tutorial, let's go on to um, some of the sites and look at you know what I'm talking about with confusing packages. And let's look at the cost for some of these professional, prof uh, professional licenses when compared to your standard uh, tax software.